It is game day for UTEP football. The Miners taking on the nationally ranked Oklahoma Sooners today. Now, the Miners' record against top 25 ranked teams, not good. Four wins and uh, 56 losses to be exact. The last time UTEP beat a top 25 team, October 3rd, 2009. UTEP beating number 12 Houston at the Sun Bowl. The odds are against the Miners, but hey, they still go into this game with a chance. To Norman, Oklahoma we go. The Miners have never beat the Sooners in program history. Four meetings. Four losses. Now, things were going as expected. The Sooners up 14-0. What wasn't expected, though, was this run from Gavin Freeman. 46 yards to the house. Sooners go up 21-0 at the end of the first. Second quarter, UTEP has three points on the board after a 48-yard field goal from Gavin Beckley. Miners want more points. Ray Flores there with an amazing catch. The Yisleta High School grad with, with 76 receiving yards and seven receptions on the day. Later in the drive, it's Ronald running a Watt two-yard touchdown run. Miners still down 21 to 10. Of course, the Sooners go on to score 21 unanswered points. They lead 42 to 10. This was probably uh, UTEP's biggest highlight of the day. It's uh, Beckley, Gavin Beckley, uh, 54 yards out. Field goal is good. Good moment for him. Not a good moment for the Miners as they go on to lose to the Oklahoma Sooners 45 to 13. Here's head coach Dana Dimmel with his takeaways from today's game. I really feel like we're a better team leaving the field. We played a really good football team today. Uh, you know, ex they executed at a high level and they did some really good things. But I feel really comfortable about our football team and what we gained. And I think we played a lot of guys. You know, we played, we had to because of the heat. We played a lot of guys and, and we had 11 guys catch passes. Today. So that part of it, you know, shows some depth for us at receiver. And, and um, so it was a fun game. It was a good, good experience for us. It's what you want to get out of a non conference game if you're not going to win. The Miners now start the season with two straight losses. Last time that happened, 2018. Up next for the Miners, New Mexico State. It's a battle of I-10 in seven days.